Hello, shamanettes. It's Suzanne, the beauty shaman. So today we're going to talk about lip lines. So many of you have sat in my makeup chair and said, oh my God, what do I do? They're just getting deeper and deeper. Um, I hate them. What, you know, and it, and I know it can be become really, really difficult as we get older to treat the lip lines because we want to wear our favorite lipstick. We want to wear lip gloss. Oh my God. Right? Like it's, so what can you do with lip lines that will help to minimize them over the long haul? We're going to talk about more kind of the long game when it comes to them. At the very end, I'll talk about some of the short game, but I'm much more supportive of the long game of really taking care of our health um, and also doing external things that over time really do make a big difference. Okay, so before we get started covering this topic, uh, please visit my store at thebeautyshamanstore.com um, and sign up for my newsletter while you're there for insider tips, tricks, and discounts. And also also be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted every time I upload a video. Okay, let's get going. All right, so the big question is what causes this? Why do some women have really deep lip lines and other women hardly get it at all? Um, what is the big difference? And the big difference, and if you don't remember nothing from this video, remember this, it is a breakdown of the connective tissue. Aging, wrinkles, anything around that subject matter has to do with your connective tissue deteriorating. So the question always comes to what can we do to build the connective tissue in our health, in our body? So connective tissue is really built by taking supplements as well as some external things, which we're going to talk about. So the main supplements that really help to strengthen your body, and I've talked about this in many videos, is vitamin C and your omega-369 oils as well as eating nutrient-dense foods, um, drinking lots of spring water, 36 to 64 ounces of spring water. These things really help to build your immune system along with vitamin D, zinc, um, vitamin A. I mean, I've done whole videos on nutritional supplements. I'll put them up in the corner here. But supplements are so key to really building that connective tissue that is, you know, right beneath the surface layer of our skin. And you can build it. You can do it by what you put into your body because that's what really shows on your skin. The skin is the canary in the coal mine. So we always want to start with the internal. If you just do the external, you are going to notice a difference. If you want to see a huge difference, then you do both. That's what's really key here. So let's talk about what causes these deep lines. Besides the breakdown in the connective tissue, this can be like sun exposure, sun damage. Many of you know this. I, I too, you know, layered up on baby oil and lay in the sun when I was a teenager. Oh my God. Oof. things you wish you could take back, right? Uh, maybe you have a story or two you want to share with us down below on things that you've done. I love these stories. I mean, smoking is a big part of it because, you know, smoking obviously causes a deterioration um, in the connective tissue and it can really help to deepen lip lines, although it's not the sole cause for sure. Like I touched on early on, poor health. Um, we have 60% more toxins in our environment and food than we did in the 1940s. 60% more. And our body simply cannot cope. So what our body does is it withdraws the nutrients from our skin in order to protect our internal organs for survival, interestingly enough. So one of the that's one of the reasons why your skin is the first place to show any lack within your health because everything's rushing to try to protect your heart, your lungs, your you know your guts, right? So that's why taking supplements makes such a big difference because it gives your body the nutrition and the and the um, minerals that it needs in order to really feed the skin. So, meh, didn't know that, did you? Another cause of the deterioration of connective tissue and wrinkles and especially lip lines is prescription meds. Now, I know many of us have to be on prescription meds. There's nothing you can do about that. I understand that and I'm very compassionate towards that. So please don't feel any judgment from me whatsoever. But I'm saying that actually does contribute to um, to our bodies not being not having extra toxins in it um, and the deterioration of our skin. So if you can combat that by really taking a lot of great supplements like what I said, the C's, the essential uh, fatty acids, some of the stuff I listed in the beginning, that can really help to strengthen what is being taken away from prescription meds. Also what you eat, right? Processed foods, we all kind of know this. Um, if you can make as much of your food be whole foods, in other words, something that comes from the ground that is untreated, vegetables that are steamed, not fried, you know, organic meats, anything that's that's very pure is going to be the best for your body. Really getting away from anything processed, sodas, God forbid, um, you know, caffeine can be, cause a, de have a detrimental effect, although that's one of my big 
Er, I like caffeine. And the last thing I would say is to get outside and exercise. This is one of the things that really makes a big difference. I'm just talking about external things that we can do here. Getting out, getting more oxygen in your lungs, making your body work, m bringing more oxygen to your skin will automatically make a big difference. I would say every day try to get out and go for a walk as much as you can. And if you can do something more strenuous, that helps too. Okay, so we've covered some of the internal causes and the things that you can do internally. Let's talk about external things. So one of the great external things you can do when it comes to lines, wrinkles, which includes lip lines, is exfoliation. So exfoliation causes the skin to turn over. It does a slight damage to the skin, which isn't bad. You actually need to damage your skin slightly in order to get it to rejuvenate. So that's why doing peels, microdermabrasion, some of these treatments we're going to talk about are so effective over the long haul because they are helping to get rid of that top layer of skin. And the more you can get cell turnover and have healthy cells in there, which is where nutrition and, and vitamins and all of that comes in, those healthy cells then push to the top. And that's why you see a brighter complexion. It's all a part of you as an organic being um, doing what you do best, which is healing, right? The body heals itself. It's fabulous. The body's an amazing tool. One of the best exfoliators is, of course, alpha hydroxy acid. So what is that, you ask? Well, thank you for asking. It's things like citric acid, found in citric fruits, um, glycolic acid, found in sugar cane, um, lactic acid, found in sour milk and tomato juice, malic acid, found in apples, um, tartaric acid found in grapes, and many others. So when all of those are put into a product, to an AHA, alpha hydroxy acid product, that helps your skin to rejuvenate. So using an AHA is really great. Um, there's lots of AHA products. The one that I use in particular is Truth Treatments. I really love this brand. If you if you know me, I'm, I always sing its praises. But this product has very high concentrations of alpha hydroxy acid and using it every day helps over the long haul to really minimize that because again, it causes cell turnover. All right, using retinol, um, that's not in my notes, but it just occurred to me. Retinol or Retin-A is really great. Retin-A is actually the prescription description um, level retinol. You can also get retinol over the counter. I would say watch your quantities. Um, anything between 0.5% and 1% is the lower end of the scale. Be sure you don't go beneath 0.5%. If you do, you're not going to see any difference at all. I use a 5% on my skin and I notice uh, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. I've been doing it for so long. If you're a newbie, stick with the lower percentages. If you've been at it for a while, you can try the 5%. What you notice when you do a lot of these, including some of these techniques that I'm going to talk about, is that after you do them, your skin looks bad, okay? You look bad. Like you look a little beat up. It's red. Maybe, you know, for a few days, I've even had, you know, like a wound, like it scabs over. I mean, that sounds really disgusting. I don't mean to gross you out. But what happens is then the skin rejuvenates and my skin looks even better. It's like a process you have to go through. So whenever I do any of these treatments we're going to talk about, um, I'm sure to do them so that I don't have to be somewhere the next day and, and look halfway decent, right? All right, so things like acid peels make a huge difference. And that's something you do monthly with an esthetician. You go in, you get your acid peel done. It sounds terrible, acid peel. But again, it's fr it's fruit acids. And a lot of times that's completely, you know, it doesn't hurt your body at all, but it does help to, again, exfoliate the skin. That's what we're looking for here. Microdermabrasion is a great strategy. I use an at-home microdermabrasion. I'm a licensed esthetician. I could use something more powerful, but I find this to be just fine. I got this on Skin Store. Um, I believe you can also get it on Amazon.com. Do check out my Amazon page. That's down below. This was $200. So again, we're getting kind of pricey, but I do this once a month and it's great for just exfoliating that top layer of skin. You can also do micro needling that does the same thing. So that just takes very small needles and punctures the skin, which sounds terrible. Some women have some blood come out. It's really, you know, a bit gross, and you look beat up for several days. However, it does help your skin, again, to rejuvenate. That's what we're looking for here. Laser treatments do the same thing. Microcurrents, um, this is a microcurrent machine that I use. This is Truth Treatments again. Um, New Skin also makes one. What, what, what these do is they get down and they strengthen the muscle. So say you have lip lines and you're doing your microdermabrasion, your peels, your AHAs, um, you're using good products, you're taking your omega-369s, and then you use this and it strengthens the muscle beneath the skin and helps to tighten it on the surface. Now you got to use it consistently. I use mine between two and three times a week um, when I remember, not good at remembering. 
If you get it done at an esthetician, they're going to use a more powerful machine, which then you wouldn't need to do it quite so frequency. So it's up to you and where how much you can spend. But that is a great strategy to help build the muscles in your skin. Okay, the last thing I would say that would really help to strengthen the connective tissue in your skin and build um, the stratum corneum of your skin is to get a really good vitamin C serum. This is something I harp on. I think if you can get a good one and that's the only thing you spend your money on because they do, the good ones are more expensive and I want to be really sensitive to the fact that it's, it's hard. We have high inflation right now and I think spending a lot of money on these products for some of you is really tough and I want to be very empathetic to that. I would say the cheaper ones are going to do much less um, good to your skin. If you are going to get one product, I would say get yourself a really good vitamin C. The way you know it's a good vitamin C is the ingredient deck. Um, the ingredient deck really needs to have beneath 10 to 15 is the most you should have on an ingredient deck. Um, and the primary ingredients that you're looking for, the, the active ingredients need to be in the first three to five. If you don't see it in the first three to five, it's not doing that much for you. Very important. Most skincare is full of fillers and really doesn't do anything. And that's why when you use it, you're like, wow. And then you email me and you say it's not working. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, of course it's not working. So what do you need to look for? You need to look for these words, asorbyl tetro tetraisopalmitate. That's the word. Um, it is the more expensive brand of vitamin C. It is also the best. You're going to notice the biggest difference. So look for that word. I'll say it again. Asorbyl tetraisopalmitate. The one that is cheaper is called l acid. It's also called tetrahexyl decyl asorbate. I'm not going to say that one again. That was tough. But that's the cheaper form. It doesn't do as much. It doesn't go beneath the skin like the previous one. So you really want to try to get the premium one. Again, that is going to cost you a little bit more. Um, but the but it remains the the higher quality remains in the skin cells forty to eighty times longer than l acid, um, and it has four times the effect. I mean, the difference is amazing. It's sort of like if you're eating fruit, but the fruit isn't organic. And it tastes like water. It's nasty for one thing. And then it also doesn't really deliver to your body what it really needs because it's so full of um, chemicals that it's not doing any good for you. So why buy the apple? That's kind of my take on that. Um, and, and that example is the same thing for skincare. So that's what you're looking for when it comes to vitamin C. Of course, I use truth treatments. This is my vitamin C. It's very loved. This has 80% vitamin C. You only need two drops once a day makes a big difference. And you can focus it. Like I take a vitamin C um, and use it especially around my eyes because my eye area tends to be the area for me um, that needs the most help and support. For some of you, it is your lip lines like what we're talking about. It can also be lines here, wherever it is. You can use it more on those particular areas, completely up to you, but it is a way more powerful to get ones that have the right ingredients. Okay, nothing that I'm talking about is a quick fix. It's all going to be a daily kind of exercise or a daily habit, right, in order to take really good care of our bodies. I would say if you were looking for a quick fix, now I'm not against quick fixes. Sometimes a quick fix is great. It makes you feel amazing. I think just don't not do the ones that take a lot longer because then the quick fixes will only work for a short time and you go right back to where you were at the beginning. If you're doing both and you decide to, to do the quick fix, right, you're doing all the health stuff um, and the external, the dermabrasion or whatever it is, and then you choose to do a quick fix, which is basically Botox, fillers, that sort of thing, um, then you'll really be like, wow, that really makes a huge difference. So it's up to you on what path you take. Um, just so you know, I don't use Botox or fillers. Um, that's a personal choice. I don't pass judgment on, on anyone for using them. Um, I just don't as a rule uh, because I present to you and I want to present to you in a really honest way. So I don't use um, those particular things, but go ahead. But that is absolutely the quick fix. And if you can afford it and you want to do it, knock yourself out. Just don't not do all the other stuff. Okay. That's my plea, I guess, to all of you. So I hope this has been helpful when it comes to lip lines. I really want you to wear that great lipstick that you're in love with. Like I'm in love with this one. This is by Jane Airedale. It's called Ella. I love this color. It's so nice. <laughs> and anyway, I hope you're doing great. I hope you found this helpful. Please write down below. I love hearing from you. I love your questions. It definitely helps me to grow as a person and in my research and in my learning. So thank you so much for being my great catalyst for growing as a person. So I appreciate it. Have a great day and thanks for watching.